Hello everyone and this is an addendum to the previous lesson which was using crypto mats in the new cops. So the problem that uh, was happening was that if you load up an EXR sequence from let's say another software or you've rendered it a while ago and you don't remember the names of the objects, right? Because we were picking up the names from the uh, scene graph tree and dropping it into the crypto mat. But let's say, you know, you've opened it in a brand new file, you don't remember what the names were. So then how do you find those out? So that is where the old cops becomes useful. So again, uh, like thanks to Falcon Saavedra because he kind of, he gave the tip for this. Uh, so you come in here, you come back and then you can just make a cop net, but you make the old cop network. And then you can just jump in here and I'll import the same sequence. So yeah, which is the same one. Yeah, okay. So this is the sequence that I have. And this has the crypto mat. Okay, so what you can do is if you click here and you click on the information, then it will show you all the information that you need. And if you come, if you scroll down, you'll find your crypto mat and it gives you the names of the objects. So that is the path that you need to type. So you can do slash flippy slash mesh underscore zero. If you don't want to type, the other thing you can do is, let's say if we take a crypto mat node and once you drop it in, it'll pick up the layer that it's supposed to pick up. Okay, so all you have to do is just come in here and keep shift pressed and click on the object you want to select and it'll select that and it'll give you the name. So if I click on both, you see, you can see like the names that it has given. And then you can just copy paste this and take it into the new cop. So if I just do control C and I come in here, this is kind of a stupid way to do it. But if I paste this, see, there you go. So yeah, so if you bring in an EXR sequence from a different software or you know you don't know what the names are, you can use the old cops to find that information. I seriously hope they uh, like side effects just adds like a drop down list, which will, you know, which just shows you all the objects and you know, it'll be easier to select that way. So I hope they do that, but for now, you know, this is your solution. Okay, one final thing. This only works for EXR files. Like I tried loading up the dot rat sequence and it does not work. Like if I pick up the dot rat, the dot rat is fine, but uh, like the shift click doesn't seem to work. Like if you come in here, see this, like the cryptomat more or less just stops working altogether. And also like if you click on the information, it doesn't show you any information. Okay, so this, that stuff only works for EXR files. It does not work for dot rat sequences. So yeah, it's like, it's a solution. So yeah, so when you render it, like make sure there's an EXR file and then convert it to rat. So you have at least like one frame <laughs> that uh, you can just load up in the old cops and read what is required. Okay, that's pretty much it. So this is how, you know, you can get names for your cryptomat to use in the new cops.